Let's go split some wood. So now you're up here meandering around a bunch of wood. Yep. And what's your plan? Well, we're gonna split some wood, some of these bigger blocks, and we'll just split up some of it here with the ax. You gotta pick your way across, because it is a little tough. It's starting to open. I've heard about guys like you. Yeah. I just think about one of my old bosses. <laughs> Took me a moment. That one had a little rock in it. I can tell by the spark that went flying. And I shouldn't tell you that because you go, where's these safety glasses? <laughs> Yeah, we got a wood splitter over there, but we don't use it all the time. How do you how do you have such a sharp axe, Brad? Well, I grind on it. I use a uh, little belt sander called a work sharp, and then I touch it up. The suspense with one of those the poker chip so people might say how do you sharpen an axe with your sharpener so we're gonna stick it in the wood now come in close and uh, we're gonna use a corner 90 degree corner 90 degree corner Touch it to the axe like this. Follow the same bevel degree angle as it's ground at. And then, oh, right there. Okay, that's probably from little rocks. So just like this, tip it at an angle and run it along just like that. Now I'm going to come around on the other side and do it this way. Keep it at a, a steep angle this way, about a eight degree angle this way, and a steep angle this way on the corner. See how that's getting quieter? I already took the nick out of that blade. Just like this. Now we touch it light. Then we touch it light on both sides. Just like that. Now let's see. See the pigtails of wood coming off? Okay. That's as sharp as a pocket knife. And will it stick on a, th a thumbnail? That's a three and a half pound axe. Right about here, right? Right there's where it's balanced. So I'm gonna move back and I'm gonna let that set on my thumbnail. Okay, that won't slide off. It's also really hard on a thumbnail, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, that won't fall off. It is stuck. Didn't do much damage. 
So that's how I finish. You know, start it with a, sometimes it's a file. And then you file, then you draw file it. That is like crazy sharp for an ax. I'm not going to use that side for splitting. I use this side. It's sharp. Okay, come here. If it's not sharp, it won't make that sound. That don't make a sound. That one does. Man, the bugs are thick. <laughs> Every time. You might notice. <laughs> Why pick him up when you just... Okay, I hang on to the axe right here. If you hang on here, you have less distance traveled. Velocity slows down, impact slows down. The further you come out on that handle, the more velocity that it comes down with. You also notice that I step back away from the block of wood, and you'll literally take it like this and hit it. So the velocity of the ax traveling takes an awful lot of wood to stop. Three and a half pounds traveling perhaps a hundred miles an hour. Oh, you beast. You know, so from here to there in a second and a half, in one second or a half a yeah. second, could be a hundred miles an hour traveling. So three and a half pounds plus the weight traveling a hundred miles an hour hits with a little force. <laughs> 